Hey there folks, it's Nixcraft here, welcome on back to the series, we are in episode 30 today, big milestone there, and also a big episode because we are going to be building ourselves a big farm today, I'm smelting up a bunch of stone here in the uh, super smelter, because we're going to be building ourselves a mob farm today, and that requires a lot of layers of blocks, and a lot of placing of blocks, and mining of blocks, it's going to be a lot of work, so... Come with me on this project today, hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe if you are new here and leave a like on the video if you've been liking this stuff. So let's get started today. Now the farm we're building today is by a creator named Super Laggy. Uh, I found it a little while ago and built it in one of my worlds. And uh, not only was it super easy compared to a lot of the mob farms you see out there, but it was uh, very, very efficient and it worked well just for uh, a single player world. Uh, in fact, I had a couple friends with me, and it pretty much supplied all the gunpowder and mob drops that we ever needed. So uh, I think I'm going to build that one today. And it actually requires a lot of scaffolding, so I'm going to check and see how this bamboo farm has been doing. Hopefully we have enough here. Um, yeah, it's a decent amount of stacks. We'll see how much uh, scaffolding we can create from that. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can get here from uh, just this stuff. 85. Um... Oh, okay. I forgot it definitely crafts multiple. I think we're going to need about seven stacks, so we look good there. I'll definitely leave a link to Super Laggy's video in the description, where uh, he actually has a list of all the materials you'll need in the description, too. So I'm going to start gathering this stuff up, and then we're going to talk about location, because this is going to be a pretty big farm, and pretty much floating up in the air. And to be honest, I don't want that to ruin the skyline, and the aesthetics that we have going in this base. So I'm thinking we're going to head over to where our villager breeding operation is, and where we farm up all these dark oak trees, and uh, we're probably going to build it out there. So whenever I need experience or uh, some mob drops, or just want to AFK for a little while, I can go out there and it won't be too bad because we have the nether highways to connect up all of our portals. Well, check the materials list again, and I actually need 16 stacks of scaffolding, so... uh I guess I'm off to the jungle to just manually chop down some bamboo. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm about five stacks short on the scaffolding front, but other than that, we've pretty much gathered up all the materials we need, uh, besides the redstone contraption for the trident killer. Uh, now, this is going to be a lot of block placing, and it's going to take a decent amount of time, so I think I'm going to hop on stream and actually take on this project, but don't worry. I will uh, clip some moments from the stream and uh, piece them together for you here in this video. So that's what I'm about to go do. Let's head to the build site. And we will catch you guys in a little bit. Here we are at the breeder, guys. And I'm thinking somewhere off in this field, over in this way, we're going to build our mob farm. Now, this thing is going to be about 150 blocks in the air. That's how you have to go. Y 150. And uh, it will just be pretty much a giant floating stone machine looking thing and uh, my plan for it is maybe building like a little storage room right underneath to sort all the uh, mob drops that we get because we're gonna get a lot but uh let's hop on stream and do this thing shall we also if you haven't yet please sure to uh, leave a follow at my twitch it is uh, twitch.tv slash nixcraft97 and uh also if you haven't followed my twitch i guess it's still be a uh Next craft face reveal in three, two, one. Gentlemen, welcome, welcome. Yeah, we are uh, building a mob farm today. Another thing I didn't do was um, change the title from our last stream. <laughs> so there's that. But um, yeah, so as the title hopefully says now, we are going to be building ourselves a mob farm. Now this is a uh, design by Super Laggy. So, you know, and I'll be piecing together clips of this stream and uh, a YouTube video coming out hopefully soon. All right. So I'm thinking somewhere up here. Let's just start 
scaffolding up like i don't know right here this, what is this over here i was gonna say this is a giant cave i'm gonna light it up real quick <laughs> just in case even though going up to y150 should any mob spawning beneath the surface wouldn't even matter so we are crouched and i am scared but uh let's build out just a little platform here so we could you know start a little storage chest situation and it's already nighttime so this was a bad bad time to start doing this but we'll just chain together a few chests like so so we want some blocks kind of can I get this nope well, I'm crouching. How, how can I be accessing the hopper? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Let's break this. Oh, okay. in the corner we're building this because I don't have any gunpowder and because I don't have any gunpowder I can't use rockets to fly to this platform so you know it's a dilemma <laughs> Observers facing on the drappers. We could do that. Like that. There's more blocks on the top. And then it's saying to just throw this trident in here. <laughs> and Luna's back. Alright, well, I trust you. Trident's in there. <laughs> yeah, this is my solo world. Whew, that was sketchy. We'll be placing a lever, like, right here. And this should do something. Oh, I hear it. Now I think we gather up this stone and we're starting to place blocks. We're in better wreck. Five, six, seven. Nice. The villager breeder looks kind of cool from up here. Right down there. Alright, we're basically uh, connecting these and filling it in, so. That's the first layer down. Well, not really. Out like this. What was that? <laughs> and let's knock this guy down. Hey, it's raining scaffolding! Uh, <laughs> look at that. Let's see what else we have to place. Alright, now we need a wall all the way around this. I know I'm gonna need this in the corner. But we're gonna need some slabs which I have crafted up, so. I 
I think... Honestly, I could've went with two, because if I do that... And that... I'd not be able to grab that. Yeah. Alright, now we gotta make sure we place all this water right. I think... One went up here. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, that's already flowing right up to the edge. Which is like good, but... We don't want it to flow in there. We want it just to the edge. Let's see what happens here. Did I do this right? I think I did. Looks good, right? Yeah, it's, it's going right to the edge. <laughs> Alright, well, I think we did it. <laughs> All the water should be flowing right to the edge, but not over it. So that's... That's perfect. One, two, three, four. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We could do this. Just kind of go on a diagonal here. And it should eventually meet up with that. Nice. Hopefully the water um, will probably go in the middle here, I'm assuming. And since the scaffolding is blocking the water from these blocks here, they are still spawnable blocks. And the mobs will spawn like with their heads already in the water and just be washed off. Which I thought was a, uh, a cool idea, one of the main reasons why I wanted to use Super Laggy's farm. So, I'm gonna go one here. And one, and one there. there. Okay. We did it. But we're gonna need more water. Alright, let's go to sleep. Ooh, go to sleep real quick. <laughs> if I was on the edge there, that would have knocked me right off. Layer number three. Here we go. Let's put these slabs away for now. Oh man, my shulker box went down there. I would have been upset. Jeez. Oh, yeah, see, you can't. Oh no! <laughs> There we go. <laughs> that wasn't really that big of a deal, I guess. But I yelled. Tell me why in Bedrock you can't break scaffolding with your hand. Hey, look how slow this is. I always do this. Get some blocks. Get some blocks. That was close. There. Let me start the next layer. A 
Bear number four. There we go, now I'm doing it pretty fast. <laughs> get the cobblestone layer but a stack plus 11 of scaffolding is not gonna be enough so I'm gonna uh, spray some torches around on top of this I think just a little bit Yeah, here we go. Now let's see if there's anything in this chest. Yes! There is, it all filtered down. Cool. I don't think we'll uh, get anything to spawn yet, but... Either way, that's awesome. That is that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna probably call it pretty early, just cause we don't have the resources to finish it off. But, um, I'll do another stream real soon. I'm hoping, like, tomorrow. Or maybe even Saturday. And then I'll get the, uh, the video together and everything clipped up. So it should be good. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's that. What is up? What is up, guys? It is stream time. Welcome on in. How we doing on this fine Sunday? Let me get this <laughs> camera out of my face. How we doing? Welcome on in. It is Sunday. The coffee's hot. The blocks are square, I guess. If I remember correctly, We've got to build two more layers. So let's grab just the shulker of a, uh, well, let's get the whole, the whole bit of cobblestone out. We'll bring the shulker with us if we need it. Three, four, and that's the fifth with no scaffolding on it. And we need seven layers to complete this mod farm. Scaffolding. And then we're gonna have to break that tower. Which, honestly, I'm not sure if that's even going to be enough. It's a little over two stacks. And then we could probably just take down the tower from down there. And it's just rain scaffolding on us. So we'll be able to finish the lair. Oh, I was so worried I was going to have to go into the jungle. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be using these rockets. See how many it takes to get all the way up there. Ooh, looks like I'm going to hit that. Oh no! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Where you wanna go? This thing is looking cool though, I will say. There we go. That's a bit better. <laughs> and there is the last scaffolding. Oh, except for over here. <laughs> and over here, and right there. <laughs> wow, I missed a lot. There's the last scaffolding. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Something like that. All right. 
Now we start filling in. Don't mind me, I'm just heading home. Oh wait, it's almost nighttime. And look at that thing. It's pretty cool, huh? Nice, look at this. A whole bunch of stone. But I'm pretty sure we gotta slab off the top of this. It's gonna be annoying to place too. I'm gonna put so many double slabs down. <laughs> Nice. Whoa, is that like... Yeah, how is that perfect? That was like a perfect amount. So, we did it. Five. Okay. So, on this block right here, in fact, let's make it a piece of stone. So we know that that's the middle. Now let's try and build out like a little space around this here. Gotta try and land in that little circle, which I think we will do okay with. You. That was scary. All right. So 25 was what, like right here, right? Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Well, it's not iron scrap, what is it? Raw iron? Yeah. So you could, like, technically fortune it. Pretty sure that's coming. I'm not sure in part one. Oh, there we go. We got mobs falling. Look at all of that. Oh, this guy decided to be... ...be shifty. <laughs> Look at him. Alright, nice. Well, this is a little bit quicker stream than I usually do. I usually try to go two hours, but... So will probably be where I end it. And don't worry, I'm going to, as soon as I'm done here, get rid of that <laughs> infinite water source that's just attached to the side. But, we, uh, we did it. This thing works. If we just sit here and hold our looting three sword, we should get a whole bunch of drops. And never have to worry about gun. Alright, here we are, guys. We are back. Oh boy, that took a long time. But, uh, here we are standing at the finished mob farm. And uh, if I go to sleep real quick here, we could definitely see in the morning and during those stream clips that it was spawning perfectly. Now, I've been standing here with my Looting 3 sword pretty much the entire time I was editing those Twitch clips together. And uh, down in this chest, we have some loot to look at. We'll see what we got. Definitely a few hours worth of AFK at this spot. So we'll see how these chests are looking. If I could swoop down here. Oh, and I missed it. <laughs> Okay, made the landing, and excuse the sound in the background, that's just all the mobs being uh, taken out. And actually, we'll get some XP if we stand here in time for some mobs uh, to be killed. But, let's look at these chests here, and oh boy, we are full. We get all of the drafts, including bows, and there's some bottles in here, look at this. This is a potion of swiftness from a witch, we even get witch spawns in here, we've got some iron from zombies, and a whole bunch of gunpowder. Let's see how this chest is looking, this one's almost full too. So as you can see, we are definitely going to need some sort of a better storage system for this, and I think that's going to be the plan for the next episode. Once again, big shout out to Super Laggy for the farm design, I will definitely link his video in the description, be sure to subscribe to him as well, a lot of great farms. And uh, that is going to be it for episode 30. Uh, sorry it was a lot of Twitch clips today, but it was, uh, it was a lot to build, a lot of blocks replaced. Uh, but be sure to leave a follow on that, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, leave a like on the video too, I would really appreciate that. So, we will see you in the next one, folks. Take care.